Hello everyone, welcome to Real Money Real Talk. So I know that a lot of us has been um, you know, doing self-directed investing during this time and we have a lot of questions received about you know investing in RSP or investing in TFSA, but you know being self-directed. So today we want to give um our honest reviews on some of the platforms we use. What we're doing today is just a review on some of the platforms that we use for our investments. Absolutely. So my name is Sandy Gum and I'm an insurance and private equity advisor. And just to summarize, we will be talking about a few different platforms that we use to buy stocks and to give you some idea insights about it. Um, so that you can take a look to see which one fits you the best. So my name is Gina and I will be your host today. And if you like our channel, please like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you every week. So, uh, I mean, star market has been crazy uh, since I would say since the whole entire COVID, it's it, mm -hmm. it's been pretty decent. I would say a uh, very steady growth uh, for the past several years. I know people talk about it might be there's a bubble burst or or a stock market crash, um, but regardless, um, stock market has been very very volatile. Also very active uh, for the last few years, particularly uh, last year that we have seen uh, multiple sectors and stocks have gone uh, or grow um, ex extremely well. Um, but the thing is, I, I often get comments um, asking about, you know, what are the platforms that do you use to buy stocks? Now, I do want to put a little disclaimer here. We're not putting any affiliates or anything. Um, this video is solely to kind of share our personal um, experience, uh, what we, you know, use so many different platforms and what we think. Uh, so it's a bit more on the personal perspective to show you our personal uh, opinions. In terms, of, in terms of which platform that you want to use, it will be solely up to you to see what mm -hmm. will be a good fit for you. Um, and then we're basically showing, uh, just sharing our experience, you know, the fees, um, the, uh, the convenience, their software, or their overall uh, platforms and how good they are. I will be just solely, you know, kind of to show you uh, the experience based on mm -hmm. what we see in terms of pros and the cons using all these uh, different mm -hmm. platforms. Okay, so the first platform we're going to start with is Wealthsimple. So it is a trading brokerage um, and it's not a specifically a bank. You can connect your bank account. Some of the benefits is that you don't need any minimum amount. You can put any amount in there and you know no account maintenance fees. So I think that is a pro. Um, other than that, uh, what, what do you think about the platform, Shani? Yeah, I, I think the Well Simple uh, has been pretty active for the past and really well promoted um, for the last few years. Um, I know it has been mentioned many times in many uh, YouTube channels. You know uh, that it's very easy to use, that you can track your own record, and most importantly, it's a really nice entry level for people who never done a stock before. The user mm -hmm. interface is very simple to use, uh, very appealing as well too. It's very easy to connect to your bank. Uh, the money will get transferred to your bank account, I would say, uh, between three to five business days. Uh, you can open TFSA, RSP, uh, and a non-registered account. Um, however, uh, there are some certain accounts I would like probably like to share. You can buy some cryptocurrency, but it's only limited to two different coins, based yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's a Bitcoin and Ethereum. And yeah. Ethereum. Okay. Uh, now with the stocks, uh, there are also limited uh, uh, limited stocks availability as well too. Not all the American stocks are on there and also not all the Canadian stocks are on there. So in terms of the cons wise, I would say like uh, there is a limitation in terms of the selection, uh, what kind of stocks you can buy. Um, and what, what other things that you want to share in terms of your personal um, experience? In terms of you want to trade um, stocks in the US stock market, the commission is not free. They, they do charge a fee for um, you know, things that are traded in the US stock market. Their quote is at least a 15 minutes delay and it, it depends on what you would like to trade. If it, you know, you're a very active trader, they, they do not execute you know, your, your trades immediately like some of your other platforms. It does have a pending time or 
well, in some instances it may not go through at all. It depends on the, the stock and the situation of that day. The app and the platform is very easy to use. It's very easy to understand and you know review your profile and what you own and you know how to buy it. It's all very easy and user friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think to summarize um, is that uh, who will be a good fit for using Wealth Simple? I think somebody who is maybe just starting to invest in ETF, invest in index fund, um, and uh, want to have a low low uh, ser uh, low service fee, um, and doesn't have a huge lump sum money either. Uh, those all will be uh, mm -hmm. good people to be able to use on Wealth Simple, where you don't do a lot of trading. You're not like active trader where mm -hmm. you actually need a real time quote. Uh, because on Well Simple, the quote does get delayed sometimes if it's a very high volume on that specific stock, it does not execute it right away. It may be even just a penny for quite a bit long time as well too, right? In, in that situation, then you may not be able to sell or buy the uh, target price that you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in that way, then maybe using a different platform that gives a real-time quote uh, might be better off to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but just be a little bit aware that if you want to be invested in American dollars, uh, in, invest in American stocks. Um, it's very expensive. I would not definitely not recommend to use mm -hmm. Well Simple for any American trade. So the next platform we're gonna talk about is RBC. So I actually don't use RBC as a platform, but Sandy does. So Sandy will be telling you a little bit more about you know, RBC. Yeah. So RBC, um, I like RBC. Um, I I have I personally use two different banking uh, stock uh, for direct investing, and RBC is happened to be one of them. Um, I want to talk about some perks about what RBC can kind of give it to you. Mm. So you have some idea, not just the fact with the platform that has some analysis that you can take a look, some research you can take a look, there are different uh, functions that you can buy stocks, you can buy option, uh, you can buy ETF, um, all sorts of different things you can do. But most important, the reason, initial reason why I went to RBC was because I needed to open a cross-border uh, account. So I earn income, I have clients, from USA, so I do have generate, I basically generate income in USD dollars, right? Um, so I need a cross-border account so it doesn't um, have to convert my currency right away, uh, so I can trade it based on my own control, mm. right? Um, because that reason, uh, I went to check out other uh, different bank to see, uh, you know, and compare in terms of fees, compare in terms of their support, uh, telephone support and their services overall. And what I found overall is uh, TD Bank was very hard to open cross-border. Um, there's some, uh, for some reason, uh, different branch telling me different things. I don't know why, um, but there's some uh, uh, some restrictions or some little, little basically mm. more steps in order to do that. So I went to BMO and very similar, it doesn't even connect properly for the cross-border account um, and to the Canadian account. Uh, so the, the most convenient one that I ever really opened is actually RBC. So I literally go to one of the local branch, I tell them, hey, I need the cross-border account, also the local accounts, they open it within literally one hour, and then open the direct uh, investing account through online, again, within 30 minutes, you have it. You have TFSA, direct investing, RSP, and uh, non-registered right away. It was so simple. Uh, and in terms of uh, the platform, you can move your money from cross-border cross border account to the Canadian USD, the Canadian side of USD, and then move right away to your direct investing. So you can actually move your money uh, around from direct investing to uh, Canadian accounts, USD dollars, and all the way to cross-border, literally happen within in one day. And there's no fees. You can move as many times as you want a slow you stay uh, within RBC. So I thought that was quite, quite sweet. So if you are someone who is earning USD dollars and you're also trading uh, American stocks, um, I think RBC is definitely the way to go. And can you tell us a little bit about um, the commissions? Yeah, so the, the, the commission is almost $10. I think it's nine ninety five. dollars okay, per trade, uh, whether you buy and sell. Um, it's definitely not the cheapest one or the lowest cost in terms of trade. Uh, but if you're someone, again, like not completely like doing day trade, right? Like every single day you trade something, then I think RBC is still gonna be a good platform for you to use. Uh, knowing that it does um, open for over-the-counter stocks as well too, I've noticed uh, some other bank platforms you cannot find 
uh, certain uh, unique stocks such as OTC stocks uh, that's not available on, on other bank banking platform. But RBC actually allows you to be able to buy over the counter um, stocks, which is I think it's really neat. Mm -hmm. That is uh, a lot of other platforms actually don't allow you to buy OTC. And one thing I think we'd like to mention is that you cannot actually buy OTC stocks in your TFSA account. And I think we will be explaining a little bit further more on that in another video. That's right. We'll talk a little bit more about the OTC over-the-counter stocks in the different videos. Uh, one last thing I do want to mention about the RBC is that it won't allow you to trade uh, before markets and after the market. I do think that is a disadvantage. But knowing that um, uh, it, 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 you know, the move, you know, be, having that ability to be able to move the money in and out, I think it's a, uh, it's pretty, pretty good compared to other platforms. Mm. Um, but other than that, that's the only downside I see. So um, the next platform we're going to talk about is BMO, the Bank of Montreal. So I personally use um, the Bank of Montreal platform. Um, the quote is um, um, very accurate and you know on time. Um, the the app itself is quite easy to use and when you do go on their website they do um, offer a lot of advice tips you can do research there's articles that they give you update every day on your portfolio they give you the the portfolio uh, you know historical performance there is a lot of uh, little gadgets you can use um, from their website the commission wise it is the same as rbc at 9.95 per trade as far as you know executing your orders it is quite uh, fast and effective if you are you know trading a little bit more or if you want to you know have accurate real-time quotes for your trades i do recommend bmo over um wealth simple you know, connecting your bank account to the bmo investor line account is quite simple and you know transferring the money between your your bank account to the investor line account is pretty much instant as long as they know the funds are in your bank account you can start trading in your investor line account even if it doesn't show up right away in your account um the the people on the investor line account will confirm that you can start trading Perfect. Yeah. So I think BMO uh, direct investing will be good for someone who already have a, a BMO uh, account, like yeah. a checking account. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. already a BMO customer. Um, you can simply open directly with them. Um, unless you need uh, to have a cross border account that require mm -hmm. for a further connection, which they have a complete different department, which is called BMO Harris. Um, like my experience again is it's very difficult for them to connect um, the, the two different country accounts together but if you don't have that problem if you just simply have your uh, Canadian chicken account with BMO and they just wanted to open a BMO direct investing I think these two are okay and that will be uh, a good fit you know if you're already a BMO customer now the next platform we're going to talk about is uh, TD Bank Okay, yeah, so TD Bank, I, I personally, I have TD Bank, uh, and the main reason why I went to TD Bank um, is because out of all the top five, big five banks, um, TD Bank is the only bank that's allowed to deposit a physical certificate, okay? So if you look at my previous video that I talk about pre-IPO share, uh, if you recall, uh, you know, if you don't remember, that's okay. You're going to click the link over here uh, on the top. So you can see my uh, previous video that talks about pre-IPO. So what happened is, uh, you know, there's some pre-IPO depending on the investment that you bought. If it is the uh, primary market, which means you actually be able to buy the mm -hmm. pre-IPO share directly from that specific company, you get a physical copy of that certificate. And that certificate, at the time of the IPO, you need to give that one to the bank and then let them to transfer and convert into a actual stock share, okay? Now, based what I know, I've looked to so many different options already. Only TD Bank is able to allow you to deposit that certificate without any fees at all. That's really the reason why I actually opened the TD Bank because I have two uh, pre-IPO share that um, I invested a couple years ago, Canadian company, so I needed to deposit. Mm -hmm. Generally, for other platforms, they probably charge range between $50 to um, $200, depending on the platform. Uh, but TD Bank is really the only one that does not charge 
um, the deposit for a certificate. Um, but I've noticed uh, TD Bank, there's some restriction uh, to trade over-the-counter stocks. Um, there's some uh, stocks that if they have certain limitations, uh, TD Bank doesn't allow to do that. Versus if I go on to the RBC, uh, I was able to buy those um, special type of stocks uh, with no issues versus on um, the TD Bank. Um, there's oftentimes there's some um, issues uh, with that mm -hmm. one. But other than that, regular like you know regular trading, uh, TD Bank is just like any other platform. I think they are they are great. Um, they're easy to use. You can move your money in and out. You can connect to your local banking as well too. Uh, you can even connect to your line of credit. Uh, if you have some money in your line of credit or you want to use a uh, line of credit money uh, to do the stocks, that will be up to you. Um, I think overall experience is pretty straightforward as well. Mm. And what about the commission? Yeah, the commission is also $9.95 as well too. So out of all these uh, top banks and also including Wealthsimple, these are our personal opinions uh, about uh, basically the experience uh, using, uh, using those different platforms. I think based on my situation, right, again, uh, there's no perfect platform for, any, mm -hmm. for everybody. Um, there's only platform that fits you the best, mm -hmm. right? So for myself, I like to use RBC because uh, they are able to connect cross-border account. They're able to open the cross-border account uh, very conveniently um, at any local branch. That was my number one top uh, pick. Uh, if I don't need to deposit any physical certificates, I wouldn't need to uh, do the TD bank. Um, so mm -hmm. I, I keep it both just for now because of that reason. But other than that, if I don't have any physical certificate that I need to deposit, I will go uh, uh, with uh, RBC Bank. So for my picks, um, in comparison with Wealthsimple and BMO, right now I would be choosing BMO over Wealthsimple just because it's real-time quote and you know it's able to offer me all the stocks I like to, to trade. Um, we are trying um, more platforms and we will be giving our honest reviews after we have uh, you know experienced you know had our experience with those platforms as well and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next videos if you found this helpful please like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions and comment below as well to share your experience maybe that could benefit to other people um, i would love to hear your feedback you know what your experience using all these different platforms to buy stocks